Hi friends, how are you all doing? You are welcome to my kitchen and thank you for joining. So uh, today, in today's video, we're going to be making some banana bread. So uh, the bread, we'll bake it on the stove top. Most of the time I do my baking in the oven, but today we are going to bake the bread on the stove top because I just want us to understand that even without the, the oven, you can always bake bread, you can bake your yeah, cake at any time you want to. So I'll go ahead and show you the ingredients uh, and uh, we get you need three eggs. You need um, one tablespoon of uh, baking powder. You need one tablespoon of uh, baking soda. You need, uh, this is optional. So this, I just decided to add in some, some nuts. So it's optional. So you need some salt. This is a pinch, just a pinch of salt. I don't see, no, you can see it. You need some salt. You need uh, some sugar. This sugar is uh, a quarter cup. So it's banana bread and it's sweet. So you can always re reduce the quantity of uh, sugar. But if you want more sugar, you can always go ahead and add more sugar. Then you need some, uh, some flour. I'm using all-purpose flour and this is two cups of purpose flour then here is oil you can always go ahead and use like a bottle but uh, i'm using oil because i just want to keep it simple because most of the time some people will not have bottle but they, they might not uh, understand that they will they can also use oil so we are using oil today and then you need uh, this vanilla extract and here is banana friends so this banana is not rotten i actually kept it in the refrigerator and uh, it is uh, so it looks like rotten but it is not so it's overripe banana so for this recipe you also need overripe banana and here is a baking pan i already prepared everything to make it simple and then here is the pot that we use to bake friends so i'll go ahead and turn on the stove I'm putting this the stove on on medium so that it, it will be heating up and it doesn't end there we'll go ahead and we add in some salt in the under just to make sure that nothing gets burnt okay and then when you add the salt you can always go ahead and add uh, maybe any uh, kitchen rack like so I'll add this but add more salt and then you you put the baking pan on top so now at this point i'll go ahead and i mash the banana you see it's really ripe it's overripe banana all done now you can go ahead and add in the oil if you want you can first uh, mix the wet ingredients together meaning you add the oil the egg before you pour in the in the uh, mashed banana or you can add it gradually as the process unfold and that is what we'll be doing today just make sure that you give it a nice stir and then you add in the, the egg we are using three eggs six bananas you add in the egg just like so all right then you mix Now you want to add in the sugar. So a quarter cup of sugar. But I'm not sure I'll add all friends. Because banana is sweet and but if you want sweet, it's really sweet, you can always add all the quarter cup. And now you go ahead and add in the salt, pinch of salt. if you are enjoying the video do give me a thumb up i'll really appreciate that and remember to share the video sharing is caring go ahead and just mix everything to thoroughly combine I 
uh, in another batch of flour. And then now we'll add the last batch of flour, all right? So just make sure that when you add it, you mix it. This is the last, last batch. So we are using two cups of flour. So you just mix it up. And remember, we have to put the baking soda and baking powder. Right? Normally, I had to mix it uh, with, the, with, the, with the flour before adding in here. But it just escaped off my mind, but it's still fine though. So we'll add the baking soda. Just make sure that you mix everything well to thoroughly combine. And we add in the baking, sorry, the baking powder. Right, one spoon will go to one spoon. You can add one spoon of baking powder and half tablespoon of baking soda. Just give it a gentle stir. See that the, to mix to do the mixture is that pretty simple, friends. So go ahead, try out your banana cake. If you have overripe banana, don't throw them. Make some banana cake and enjoy. So I'm going to gradually transfer all the butter into the baking pan. If you don't mind, I'd like to know where you are watching from. I'm sending you tons of hugs. Quantity might be a lot. Maybe I'll have to reduce it. Yeah, the baking pan in the pot, just like so. All right, the heat is on. So when you put it, you then cover the pot. Now you allow the cake to cook for about 40 to 45 minutes on, or until when the a toothpick will come out dry. Then you know that the cake is ready. All right, so let's go ahead and we try out if it is ready this is about 40 minutes later so as you can see the toothpick is not completely dry so we'll cover it up about five minutes more and that's it the cake is ready go ahead take it out allow it to cool down transfer it on a, a, a clean surface or kitchen rack and this is how our cake looks like friends see how soft moist and fluffy this cake now go ahead and make banana cake on your stove top even if you don't have the oven i hope this process was helpful i thank you so much for joining remember i got your back friends see you next time bye you all